twisted and open, hoping that love will start. But I don't have the heart. Oh no, I don't have the heart. I don't have the heart to hurt you. It's the last thing I want to do. But I don't have the heart to love you. Not the way you want me to. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, 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 welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. Wow, y'all, you know what? One of the hardest things for a lot of us to do is to let go. And when I say that, I don't mean it and I don't take that lightly not because a lot of us well yeah let me say it like this a lot of us hold on because we forgot how to let go or we never knew how to let go or we were perceived to be bad people if we let go or we thought we had to stop loving somebody if we let go I don't think none of that's true. I think it's like when you're pruning your rose bush, when you're pruning your flowers and your, your roses, you know, you got to pull back some of the stems. You get poked a little bit too. But you have to cut out some of the roses that are not budding right the flowers, the tips not because you don't like them but because they are not they're not um, they're not advantageous for this plant to grow, to be the beautifulest plant, the beautifulest rose that it could be not that it's bad some of them may be dead. Some of the, the foliage may be. So you might have to cut that out. Some of it just may be weak. And it has to be cut out. Because your job is to get the most beautiful rose out of the life that you got. So, I don't know. I'm just calling y'all in on my madness because... Sometimes when we think about letting go, it's usually a bad thing. And I'm here to say that it's not. Although it could be painful sometimes. And sometimes it's just what you need to propel yourself to something different. Be blessed, y'all. And I'll talk to you a little later. See you in the next video. Bye-bye. Oh, like what you hear? Please like, subscribe, and share.